Okay, today we're going to be working in Python and we're going to be creating uh, basically pop-up windows, windows that don't have any borders on them. So let's go ahead and have a quick look. We'll go into Python here. And first thing we'll do is we'll import GTK, which is our GUI uh, um, module. It allows us to create windows and buttons and that sort of stuff. And we are going to create an object. We'll call it win1. And we'll say win1 equals GTK dot window with a capital W and then we'll just put parentheses there and we'll hit enter and we've created an object we've called it win1 that object win1 what type of object it well it's a GTK object it's using our GTK module and from the GTK module uh, we're going to be using uh, the window function to create a window so we've created that but we haven't displayed it yet so we're going to say win1 dot show and parentheses and right here we've got a window so that is our window it's resizable there's nothing in it it doesn't really have a title and we can hit this X and close it so now that we have that let's create another object here another window here um, and we're gonna make it a pop-up window so the main difference is it's not going to be able to be resized with the mouse it's not gonna be able to move with the mouse even if you hit alt and click on it and um, it's not gonna have a border so we're going to create a win2 object and it's going to be a GTK window object but inside these parentheses we're going to give it some other parameters we're going to tell it that we're going to use a GTK what type of window is going to be it's going to be a GTK window all capital underscore pop up remember it is case sensitive so we've created that so just like before we create a new object we called it win2 it's a GTK window object but this time we told it what type of window Rather than a default window, uh, we're going to do a pop-up window. So now if we do win2.show up here in the top left corner, by default it puts it up at the very top of the screen right here. I can't click, I can't drag it. I can click alt and I can't drag it. Uh, it has no border, has no X to close it, has no options to resize it, and it's always on top. So even if I click back in my terminal here, you can see that that window stays on top there. So if we wanted to hide that, we can use our script. We can say win two dot hide, and it hides it. It still exists, it's just hidden. We can show it again. Uh, but we can also set different parameters for its location and today we're going to just use the move option so we're going to take our win2 object and we say dot move and then inside parentheses we're going to tell it where we want it to go so I can say 100 comma one oh that's not a comma comma 100 and it'll move it 100 pixels over and 100 pixels down boom Let's run that same, and now it doesn't move it based on the location it was, that's where on the screen. So 100 pixels over and 100 pixels down from the top of the screen. So if we hit enter again on that, you see it doesn't move. But if I change it to 200 here, you can see it moved down another 100 pixels. And we can move it over on 200 more pixels, so we can say 300. And if we go back to 100, 100, it moves it back up to 100 pixels over and 100 pixels down. Um, so that's that's basically why I wanted to show you in this tutorial. Uh, once again, let's just hide this so we can look at what we've typed out here so far. So win2.hide in our parentheses, we'll hide that window. We create a object, it's a GTK window object, capital W there, remember that. And then parentheses, we say it's a GTK dot all capital window underscore pop-up, saying it's a pop-up window, which removes the border, it removes the user's ability to resize uh, or move the window with the mouse or even close it unless you put a button inside the window that will close it. Now you can put buttons that do all that within the window but the basic window itself you will not be able to do any of that stuff. And then we use the move option for the window so win2.move and then we gave it coordinates where on the screen we want it to go. So let's play with that a little bit. Let's set uh, the location for that window to zero zero so even though it's hidden we moved it back up to the top of the screen so if we are to, to show it we're gonna say hide or sorry show and you can see oh it didn't move it I was wrong the window has to be shown for you to move it I guess see I just learned something myself so let's go ahead and hide this 
Do, 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 do. So that was it. Quick, short, simple tutorial on creating a pop-up style window with GTK. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will be using this once again in this series uh, of making basically little pop-up windows with um, PNG files and transparent backgrounds so we can have shaped windows to make kind of like a, a Kaose type application uh, using Python and GTK. So uh, keep on watching this series for our little xcow like application and uh, check out the annotation for the playlist uh, of all the videos in this series. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K and I hope that you have a great day.